Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday so it is weigh in day. We're gonna talk about my week and we're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers Workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized, customized to you macros and calories. That is what I myself have followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things are also down in that description box. And come join our Facebook group, it's free. We would love to have you. So let's chat about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers Workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a very good week. I actually have quite a bit to share with you. And the first thing that I wanna tell you is that when you see today's video, I am actually in Spokane, Washington. If you didn't know, Troy and I moved from Spokane two and a half years ago. That is where I grew up, that's where my mom is, and I'm actually in Spokane this weekend for my 30 year high school reunion. In fact, today is my 30 year high school reunion. So this, e so this evening at 5 p.m., I'll be going to see everybody I went to high school with. I have not been to a reunion since my 10 year. So it's going to be really interesting to see everybody. I have a few friends that are going to be there that I'm very much looking forward to seeing. And to be honest with you, what I'm most excited about is this is the first time that I will be attending a reunion at a healthy weight. When I went to my 10 year reunion, I was overweight. I've been overweight most of my life, as you know, as I've shared. And I'm really excited to walk into that reunion at a healthy weight. So I will for sure be updating you guys on how the reunion goes, but just know that when you see this video in just a few hours, I'll be headed to my 30 year reunion. I actually flew out Wednesday afternoon around 3.30 p.m. and I come home tomorrow, Saturday. So it's kind of a quick trip, only because I didn't wanna leave little Missy over there for very long. She's actually doing really, really well, but she doesn't, she misses me a lot when I'm gone. She'll mope around. Sometimes she just is really sad if I'm gone. And I just, like I always say, she's my priority. I have my whole life to travel and do things. I don't have Lola my whole life. So I wanna make sure that I come home after the reunion immediately so that I can get back home to Lola and my family. And you know, if you saw Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, that Troy and I have some life changes that we shared. We're actually moving. We talked a little bit about that in Wednesday's video, and I'm going to have a life update video coming out for you on Sunday, and I'm gonna give go deep dive into what's going on, why we're moving, where, we moving, where we're moving, what made that decision for us, because we just, like I said, touched on it in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day video. So stay tuned for Sunday. Make sure you're subscribed and your bells on so you don't miss it. Other than that, my week was great. We didn't actually end up having boot camp on Monday. Julia texted me at four in the morning and said she'd been sick and wasn't going to make it. So instead of skipping Monday, I'm really proud of myself actually. I walked to the gym, did my co did my train well workout, walked home. So I still got in lots of activity on Monday. In fact, I had over 10,000 steps by the end of the day. And I'm just really proud of myself that even though my schedule was thrown off, my routine was thrown off, I didn't just skip my workout on Monday, I went and did the gym workout instead. So that's part about being, that's the big part of being consistent and making sure that you're getting in your activity no matter what life throws your way. I was at boot camp Wednesday morning. I even went and worked out before I flew out. Yesterday and today, I will be going to Jazzercise. So again, if you've followed me since, if you're an OG and you followed me since I lived in Spokane before I really lost any weight, I love Jazzercise. I used to go to Jazzercise a few times a week and I haven't been since I moved. The last time any of my Jazzercise friends have seen me, I've lost 100 pounds. So I think it's going to be quite shocking when I show up at Jazzercise. Again, I will update you guys on everything that happened at my reunion, at Jazzercise, on my trip to Spokane, most likely in next Friday's weigh-in video. I like to give you guys updates in Wednesday and Friday videos. So I'm really excited to go back to Jazzercise. I'm most excited to see, number one, is it as hard as it used to be? I used to need days to recover from Jazzercise when I was really overweight, when I was over 300 pounds. And also, am I going to remember any moves? Probably not. Probably not. That's going to be probably the most challenging thing, but I'm really curious to see how does my body do at Jazzercise? Am I as winded? As Am I as sweaty and tired? I'm really excited because I've really built up my 
physical fitness and my endurance. And it'll just be interesting to see how that all translates at Jazzercise. And like I said, I'll give you guys an update in next Friday's weigh-in. Food was great. My water was great. I did, I will say that I did have a couple of days where I felt bloated and inflamed and I do suffer from inflammation but boy especially Monday and Tuesday I was feeling a little bit bloated and my weight was up on the scale a couple of pounds which typically is because of the bloating and the inflammation. I'm not sure what caused that. So that was a little bit of an issue for me this week, but it kind of leveled out as I started getting ready to head out for my trip. I'm actually filming this video on Wednesday, the day that I'm leaving for my trip. So I only have about a half of a week for a weigh-in update for you versus the entire week. Because like I said, on Friday, I'll be in Spokane. But before I talk about my weigh-in and kind of what it all looked like on the scale, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to use your strengths to stay on track. Now, you know when I travel, I don't typically track my food, but I am mindful. I brought protein shakes with me. I brought protein snacks with me. My mom set up her fridge for a healthy breakfast for us. We'll be eating out most of our meals. But this, so this topic actually comes in really handy. What strengths do you have to help you stay on track, especially when life happens, vacation happens, trips happen? What are your best tools for your weight loss journey? What are some things that you naturally do? What are some of your best traits to stay on track. Recognize those, celebrate those on draw on those daily. So here's some things that you can do. Identify a strength by filling in the blanks. I feel like my best self when I'm blank. I never change blank about myself. Blank comes naturally. Name an attribute that most closely relates to your answers. A few examples, thoughtful, focused, clever, open-minded, loving, spiritual, hopeful, grateful, strong, creative, curious, brave, zestful, determined, forgiving, and sense of humor. My strength is. Step number two, picture times when you've used this strength to connect to it and realize its impact. Visualize what you were doing, how good it felt, and the outcome. Step number three, write an affirmation to remind you of your strength. It can be as simple as something like, I am focused or my zest for life is my greatest asset. My affirmation is. And step number four, deploy your affirmation and your strengths power. Try saying it every morning to set the tone for the day when faced with a challenge or whenever you need a pep talk. Our journeys are not straightforward. In fact, they have multiple, multiple, multiple detours. Some things we can control and some of those life happen detours. When detours tours happen or things happen, we sometimes beat ourselves up. I can't stick to anything. I can't do this. I'm never going to reach my goal. And that's where we need to build on our strengths to keep us motivated. Recognizing your strengths and how you can utilize those to get back on track is basically like giving yourself a big hug. Boost your self-confidence. It can help you refocus. It can even help you develop a new skill that continues you propelled on your weight loss journey. Every single one of us has strengths and attributes that come naturally to us that we can use to help us get back on track. And if you fall off of track, that's okay. It is absolutely normal. Like I said, there's going to be bumps, detours along a weight loss journey. It's absolutely normal. It's how you navigate those that really makes a difference. So use your strengths to help you get back on track. Do not beat yourself up if you have a moment of weakness or if you have a little bit of a weight gain or you enjoy yourself a little bit too much, just get back on track and use your strengths to do just that. Let me know down below, what are some of your biggest strengths or attributes that you use to get back on track? And like I said, I really like this topic because once I get home from my trip, it's back on track for me. Not that I'm going to fall off track when I'm on vacation. I'm just a little bit more lenient on myself and I don't track my food and I don't beat myself up if I have pizza for dinner. So I'm going to use these tips and tricks for myself for when I return from my trip. And now let's talk about my weigh-in. Like I said, it was an interesting week. I had a little bit of bloating and inflammation, kind of even a little bit of stomach distress this week. It could be just anticipation and a lot of stress from moving. And like I said, on Sunday, I'm going to deep dive into everything for you, let you know where we are, what we're doing, all of that. So again, stay tuned for Sunday's video, but that could be the cause of some of the stomach issues. And also, like I said, my weight was up a big chunk of the beginning part of the week. It really as of yesterday, Tuesday. And when I stepped on the scale this morning, my weight is still up a little bit. I'm actually up 0.6 
pounds. Now, had I weighed in on Friday this week, I don't know what that would have looked like on the scale, but I am not at all worried about a six point gain because I know that I didn't gain 0.6 pounds of fat. It's a fluctuation. And like I said, it could be from the bloating, the inflammation. I am a little bit sore from my workouts. I mean, I'm always sore. So that also can lead to seeing that scale number change. But again, I'm up 0.6 pounds heading into a vacation. We'll see what happens when I get back. I mean, I'll have almost a full week before I weigh in again, and I'm gonna enjoy myself. I'm gonna enjoy myself on my little mini vacation. And again, like I said, I'll share with you updates on everything that happens at my reunion, jazzercise, what I'm eating, all of that in next Friday's weigh-in video. So a 0.6 gain for the week, and I'm not mad about it. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? And let me know what are your strengths, qualities about yourself that help you to get back on track. Let us know, you may really help someone out who's struggling. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss Sunday's video or any of the five videos that I upload every week. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, get your macros and calories done. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching so that I can help you reach your goals as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. And please come join our Facebook group. It's such an amazing supportive community. It's free. We would love to have you. The link to join is also in the description box. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll actually see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.